Hello everyone, I'm Marilana Natchu and I'm here with the highlights from the June 8th, 2021 Council meeting. A full recap can be found below. I would like to begin by acknowledging that the flags at the county buildings are still being flown at half staff to honour the memories of the 215 children whose remains were found on the grounds of the former Kamloops Residential School. This is an incredibly painful time for all First Nations who have been asking for Canadians to acknowledge these tragic losses for many years. We will seek the direction and the advice of our Treaty 6 neighbours as we navigate the truth and reconciliation calls to action. Our first order of business on Tuesday was to proclaim the month of June as Pride Month in Sturgeon County. I made this proclamation in recognition that the LGBTQ2S plus community continues to face discrimination and violence. Sturgeon County Council supports an inclusive and respectful community and we ask residents to help take a stand against discrimination and promote awareness and acceptance of every human person. It is the responsibility of each of us to work towards developing a harmonious relationship with each other, regardless of gender identity, race, age or beliefs, and I hope that you will all join me in celebrating the diversity in our community. As the province's Open for Summer Plan progresses, Sturgeon County continues to assess the changes and the impacts to our municipal operations, including our ability to provide in-person services and events. During our meeting, Council discussed the County's reopening strategy and we will continue to adapt our operations, including the ability to provide in-person services and events in accordance with the provincial health restrictions and in a manner that protects the health and the safety of County staff and our public. This includes a reopening of front counter services at the County buildings starting Monday, June 14th. Mandatory masks and distancing will apply as per the Province of Alberta guidelines. While the current restrictions still limit indoor activities, Sturgeon County continues to encourage people to get outside. Last week, we launched the new Get Outside Trails map that is available on our website and in the Sturgeon County app. The Trails map is a great way to experience our trails and can help you plan your adventure by providing location information, trail difficulty and accessibility, as well as trail length and features. We made sure to make this feature user-friendly on our Sturgeon County app as we realized most people would be viewing it from a mobile device and not a desktop computer. The Sturgeon County app is a great way to keep county information at your fingertips, so if you haven't yet downloaded this app, you can find the link at sturgeoncounty.ca slash app. It's just another step we've taken to build and promote outdoor recreation in the county, and there's more to come. Council approved up to $500,000 for additional projects under the Open Space Initiative to promote the county's beautiful natural spaces. This includes enhancements at different parks, including Cardiff Park and the Redwater Natural Area, the Sandy Lake Recreation Area, as well as developing plans for other areas in overarching Open Space Plan Review. A full list of the projects can be found on the full Council meeting recap. And another project moving forward is the development of the Sturgeon Valley Area Structure Plan. Throughout the process, we've been focused on development of a plan that recognizes the beauty and the uniqueness of the valley and guides further growth that reflects the needs of the valley residents. Council gave first reading to the three different bylaws related to this valley project and the residents and landowners will have an opportunity to speak to these three different bylaws at the public's hearings that are scheduled starting June 28th. After the public hearing, three bylaws then go to the Edmonton Metropolitan Region Board, or the EMRB, for consideration by the member municipalities. This is a required step and one that ensures that municipalities in the region are not planning and developing in isolation, but in a way that helps to harmonize, harmonize planning and investment and will help the region grow smarter and more efficiently. More information is available at sturgeoncounty.ca slash Our Valley. Last night, we also held our first Agribusiness and Agritourism Task Force and selected our Chair and Vice Chair. Congratulations to Chair Kathy Gilbert and Vice Chair Councillor Wayne Bokenfor. There is exciting work underway to support and celebrate our vast rural agriculture opportunities. I encourage you to get outside and explore all that the county has to offer. And I hope you join us at the next council meeting taking place virtually on June 22nd at 9 a.m. Thank you.